Well, this is going to be a part two uh, finishing up with Cluka because, well, the video stopped for whatever dang stupid reason. I don't know. Kind of upset about that. But, oh well. Stupid phones. <laughs> so, part two. We're pretty dry. We are going to go ahead and layer some clear coat over this. Now, clear you really can't make mistakes. We're gonna, we've already tried that a couple it. times. Yep. yep. This is a lot harder to make a mistake. Because if even if you had a drip, you could technically uh, just wet sand it. But I don't want to waste my time. So there's a first coat of clear. And what clear does, exactly what it says. It makes it shiny and it protects the paint. Mm -hmm. So it's those two. So if you get like a... if. Something, a rock hits this, that clear, um, a few layers of that clear might keep it from actually scratching into the paint. And you might be able to like buff it out or something like that, wet sand it, whatever, you know. It's, that's the whole purpose and it also makes the paint shiny. So that's kind of the whole point of clear, in essence. So you can see right now, it looks kind of pretty. Yeah, it looks pretty good. We'll take you on the video when we put it in the car because you got to take the door panel and stuff off. Yeah, it's a little bit of work, isn't it? Yeah. So I watched the video and he says, hey, you can do it in about half an hour. I'm like, okay, so a half an hour to him is like two hours to us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, story of our lives. <laughs> I don't even know what time it is. It's got to be like... After 7. After 7. Easy. Yeah. There's some more stuff in the garage. Yeah. So, no, the stop can sign is... The stop can stop sign is not stolen. No. Nope. We legitimately bought that. I bought that and I bought that. That's a big old mark down below. There. Yeah. Toeway to bought that That's from a garage good. sale. Yep, yeah, yeah. Um, Bronco fans, all that yeah. thing up there. That might actually work with money. Yeah, it might be. I like and the I'm clock, sure like the the mobile, and, and stuff like that. Thing. Yeah. Filing cabinet, yeah. Just plump full of nothing better. Auto manuals. Tubs full of carburetors. Yep. Stacked all over from one. Dog howling out there. Yeah, dog howling. What you howling at, bae? She doesn't know. She doesn't know. A lot of new tools in there. A lot of new tools buried back under there. Oh, I'm going to go get something and show them. Might as well put it in the garage. Okay. So, I'll be right back. Round. No, he's going to get something. He knows what the heck he's going to come up with now. Yeah, kind of stoked to see if we can get that bike going. There's our camping gear. I haven't been camping for a long time. Got to be camping. So you know why I just realized? What? There's music, music been playing the whole time, and YouTube doesn't like that. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. How do you stop this thing? I got it. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, most of seventy five percent of the video is probably going to be uh, deleted. But hey, I got an electric fan for the for, for the Chevy that I'm going to put in. Yep. So I'm going to delete the mechanical original fan and put that in right there. Pretty cool looking. Yeah, I got to do one in my dually too yep. and get rid of my clutch fan. Yeah. You have one, 
the, the factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to do I'm going to do a second one. Form. Keep the 454 nice and cool. Yep. If I can get it out of here without wrecking it. Box too much. And I'm going to show you how to properly uh, put one of these in. I put one of these in a uh, Chevy truck a few years ago. Um, uh, in a primered uh, 78. No, I'm sorry. 84 I had. And I just wired it up. Didn't put a relay in or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this kit comes with the things to put it up against the radiator. Kind of cool. That's neat. So I didn't have to buy that. And it comes with this. The fan, obviously, itself. Mm -hmm. And the wiring that is just right there. It just... And it tells you what's your positive, what's your negative. Very, very simple thing. Really a nice looking fan. We have a smaller version of this on Dwight's truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it seems to work good, but just gotta put relay on a it. proper relay in there. Yeah, which we which I have them hanging up. Yep. Uh, let's see where are they? Oh yeah, right there. There, that one and that one. I had a five pin, but I needed a four pin. Yeah, it kept, uh, it was on all the time. Yeah. So I had a five pin. Uh, so we screwed up and put the wrong type of relay in there. Yep. It happens. No big deal. Just pull in the switch relays and read this time. Squish it. Break it. I got this for 30 bucks. Yeah, well, that's uh, because you have a killer discount. Yeah, because I work at an auto parts store, so yep. I got it pretty cheap. <laughs> he works at an auto parts store, so we get killer discounts. We always do. <laughs> it's kind of nice when you can get fan belts and radiator hoses or a buck or two. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, well, let's layer another clear it. Get a clear on this while we're at it. <coughs> no. I don't have what's going around. <laughs> you hear how it's like the spray breaks up a little bit? You really don't want that to do that. Okay. I'm thinking I'm going to call that good. I think that'd be honest. perfect. That's two pretty good coats of yeah. clear. You know, we're just going to let it sit here overnight. It looks shiny. It looks pretty. Yep. Let's sit there and dry overnight, and it'll be ready to install. Yep. We'll unmask it after it's all done drying yep. overnight. Next We're step will be putting it, it, yeah. Yeah. So, next step will be putting that in. But, that had to be painted. I do not want one black one and yeah, yeah, yeah. one white one. We still got to put new front and rear bump, bumper covers on it and stuff like that. Yeah. And ball joints and end links. But this was like the most worst cosmetically yeah. looking thing yeah. on the whole car. Yeah. You know, besides like uh well with the headlights, but we're gonna replace those. Yeah. We'll show you. We'll get new ones and show you how to replace yeah. those too. Yeah. Oh, we gotta put a new uh belt on it too that oh, we yeah. have. Hey yeah. Yep. And check the pulleys. Yeah, check the pulleys and tension. It's either a pull we got squeak is either a pull like uh tension pulley or the idler pulley. And we gotta put a ball joint on one side of the front of it. Passenger put, side front. No, it's driver's side. Driver's side, driver's side front. Driver's side front, front. It has a bad ball joint. And then and new end links. A, a new end uh, stabilizer. Stabilizer. Yep. Yeah. Or one shot and the other one is. And then later like December we'll happy. put brakes yeah. on it and stuff like that. Yep. And we'll show you all that. So. All right, guys. Um, we're done with this till tomorrow. Tomorrow. I might do a quick update video of it. Uh, maybe bring it out in the sunshine. Yep. And show you how it looks like. Just a real quick two, three minute video. And um, this is Mike for Double Dunn's Garage. I'm Dwight. Okay. See you guys later. Have a good one.